If we're looking to put a dollar figure on a death, uh, on a suicide death, it would probably be over a million dollars per death. Uh, and that sounds exorbitant, uh, and, and it really is. It really is. There was a study done about 20 years ago in the Maritimes that costed out a suicide death at $850,000. So 20 years later, we can only imagine uh, what that dollar figure is now. Uh, when we're looking at how they calculated that dollar figure, we looked at direct and indirect costs associated with the death. So direct costs would include things like first responders, uh, if there was an emergency room visit, uh, the coroner or medical examiner, um, and then of course the funeral costs. When we look at indirect costs, we calculate the years of life lost for the deceased, the unearned earnings that that person would have uh, would have earned and, and contributed to the economy the rest of their life. Uh, and then the family costs. For each suicide death, um, historical research said six to 20 people are taken down directly by that death. And uh, newer research is suggesting that that number is actually much, much higher. Of course, it depends on the individual and the connections that person may have had. But if we think about the number of people who need to take leave, um, the counseling, the grief, the support, all those, all of those services add up and each death is well over a million dollars.